Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jazz here, also known as Paradox. This game is a bit strange. I'm going to explain it right now. Um, I lost the first minute due to a host migration. Well, there's 29 points in the game. It's more about a minute and a half in the host migration, so about two minutes of the game. But um, once again, this is from the first day of the map pack of release of the Vengeance map packs. So everything you see here is day of release. All, everyone's new to the map apart from this map summit, so anyone who's played Black Ops 1 will have a slight bit of an advantage. <laughs> You see, um, Summit to me was a snow map, and I have, have a relationship with snow maps, and they have a relationship with me, and that's, um, I don't wind them up, they don't wind me up, <laughs> and that's basically how it goes. Honestly, I, um, I can't stand snow maps. I think they ruin the game, I think they're pointless, uh, purely because there's no vision, there's no line of sight, and um, they're never ever used for MLG or game battles anyway. So while playing this map, I always had in the back of my mind, it's raining. Now, raining maps, on the other hand, uh, <laughs> there has only ever been two, maybe three good raining maps, and one of them is bootleg on Modern Warfare 3. And I'm going to be honest, I'm going to come out and I'm going to say it. I think Wetwork was a good map. Wetwork was a well designed, good map, and it would have been one of the maps you would have seen in Black Ops 2 if it had not already been used. It's the same design. Basically, the way they design their maps on Black Ops 2, and you can see this with most of the original maps anyway, is they've got game battles and MLG in the back of their mind. So what they've done is they've put the two lines. Can you imagine two points? If you get two pens and put them about 15 centimetres away, I'm doing it right next to myself as I'm doing it right now, then get you three fingers. Now put those three fingers uh, on either hand, or so you can just choose three of your favourite fingers. Don't use the thumbs; you're too small. They're too small unless you've got a massive thumb. In which case, tweet me a picture of that. Twitter's in the description below. So right now, just put your three fingers. I'm using my three main three fingers: uh, my index, middle finger, and uh, ring finger. You can call it. It's on my left hand anyway, so it's my ring finger. Now this, if you put it across, and you can see your fingers match up the two sides of the pens together. Now that's how most of the maps are designed. You've got the two bases and three, ro ro uh, three routes to them. Now if you take Plaza for example, that's just an elongated version. So they've got really long fingers, stretched the map out and made it a really thin map. Um, now all maps are like that on Black Ops 2. From the original maps, all maps are like that. And they are still like that until they added in firing range. Now firing range it technically still is the same way, but there's more mid-area and there's more ways to dip each and in, in, and out, in and out of each lane. Um, I don't like this design. One, it choke points the map. So if you get two-thirds of the map in your favour, aka controlling the B flag, you've won the game. Because they can't make a comeback from that. No matter what they try and do, they are stuck in their base because your three routes are more superior and you have all the defence than they have. Now, unless somebody pushes up and flips the spawns, they're stuck. But most of the time, people get, you know, people get impatient, they push in, flip the spawns, well, and so on. So, um, right, my little rant about how the maps are designed over. Back on to what's happening today. Today is the day before Comic-Con. Now, I am excited. I can't, I, I can't explain how excited I am. I just want to, I want to go now. I want to go have some fun. I want to go to Comic-Con right now and just, you know, Comic-Con. <laughs> So I've been, um, uh, I'm in actually on an Xbox Live party right now with two of the guys I'm going to Comic Con with. Uh, I'm going with Madman Mather, EOHI Rampage, and Magical Mouse 17. Uh, now, I know all of these guys in real life, apart from Ross, I haven't met before, so it'll be my first time meeting Ross. But, um, they, Tom and well, Madman Mather and Rampage know Ross very well. And they go to school with him. So I'm excited, I'm hyped. I'm going to be staying at EOHI Wilco's house. Um, for a night, that'll be amazing as well. We're going to have all the guys there having a great laugh. Maybe throw down a bit of Xbox time and see what goes on. Um, I can't explain to you how long I've been waiting to meet some of the people I'm meeting today, uh, tomorrow. I'm meeting two of the members of on Xbox Live that I've been speaking to since I can remember. So I've been speaking to Wilco and Mudkips since, oh God knows, uh, COD 5 maybe I've met Wilco on. Maybe even before that? No, well before that. I've known Wilco for five, maybe six years. Put it that way. And I've known... I've known Mudkips for three, maybe four. So it, it, it's one of those moments where I'm finally meeting some of the people I've spoke to on the internet. 
And I've met people from the internet before. It's not like it's a weird thing or anything. Um, to be honest, I think it's a, fi a perfectly fine thing. If you meet it with someone you've seen on, uh, you've met and known on Xbox Live for so long, and you Skype them, or you've seen what they look like in real life before meeting up with them. Of course, if you're under the age of 18, please get a parent's consent or take them with you, or go with someone who's old enough and you trust. I wouldn't want you all going around at 12 meeting people you've met on. I wouldn't endorse it. You know what I mean. <laughs> so um. I'm genuinely think I'm in one of the best moods and places in my life I've ever been before. I can I can honestly say I'm happy at the moment, and that means a big thing to me because I've not been able to say I'm happy for a for a while since maybe about I was happy last just before Christmas exams. Then after Christmas exams, it got a bit chaos for me, and my results came back, and I was all right with my results, but. It wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting a bit higher to what I got, and so I was a bit disappointed. Now, with um, everything that's going on recently, like I'm in my summer holidays, and everyone's on Xbox Live, and hopefully I'm going to get a load of gameplay out and a load of zombies as well, which is all I can hope for. Um, it's going to be good content for me, hopefully. You're going to see me more positive. You're going to see me more active. And who knows, drop me a message on Xbox Live. I got a message earlier from a guy who said he's a subscriber. And I've said, well, I play with all my subs. So I will play with all my subs. If you want, honestly, if you subscribe, I will get you in a game lobby with us. And you will have at least two to three games. Until, A, you're either really bad and I'm kind of like, sorry, but, you know, I need to get my team in. Or I go for practice. I go on my scrims and get my squad together. This gameplay... Uh, gameplay. <laughs> or a gun, bro. This gameplay is actually wrapping up to a close now. Um, I've got one minute left. I normally overshoot my videos. So this time I'm trying to keep it punctual. I'm looking at my Sony Vegas. I'm watching my recording time. And I'm ready. <laughs> I'm going to close this video quick and sharp. I'll be like, yep, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. See, I, 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 that's another thing I don't normally do. I don't normally plug subscribing to my channel. But please subscribe if you want to see more content. Because it motivates me. I can't explain. When I get a new sub, the feeling inside me is... I need to make him a video. I want to thank him individually. And you know what? I'll, I should do that. So thanks, guys. Subscribe. I might make you an individual personal video.